is it possible to give us an understanding of how uh, time is understood and uh, is brought to the healing event in the shamanistic ceremony and any connections that you see to the surrounding world, especially in, in the context of spirits? Okay, well, um, the uh, Mapuche see the uh, time as, a, as something which is you have, for, for example, they have the past is in front of you. This is what you know, what you experience through dreams, through visions. It's always there. It's always present in your life. Now, shamans are unique because since they are um, possessed by the forces of nature, you know, thunder. I actually worked with a thunder shaman for many years in, in Chile, and I was her ritual assistant. So that was a spectacular you know, experience, but this sort of being able to be possessed by thunder and lightning and, and volcanoes and lakes and so on, gives them a unique ability to move from between different times, spaces and beings. And so they're constantly moving between one and another. And in, the, in terms of uh, temporality, one of the things that they do is that they can combine present, past and future. Uh, so they can combine, for example, they invoke and are possessed by beings from other times. Uh, they could be colonial conquistadores, they could be past uh, shamans, they could be, you know, a volcano that used to be active and so on, and invoke those beings and bring them together in a multi-temporal context. So they can be also, when the shaman is in a ritual constant, they can be at different times simultaneously. So the shaman is, for example, being possessed by the past, right, but is speaking in the present and is constructing the future in the process. So a lot of times bringing these multi-temporal experiences together, fusing past and present together is in order to be able to create your future. So it's, it's basically spirits who are able to move between one realm and another. If you can be possessed by all these beings in history, if you can bring the, make them present, right? You can restructure your role in history. You can restructure your place in history. And this is played out in different ways. On the one hand, it's during rituals. During rituals, uh, the shamans will be possessed by their familiar spirit. They will also be, that spirit will be possessed by others. So you have this sort of like layer of multi-layered possessions, right, occurring all at the same time. And they in turn will tell the person what happened in the past, how the past could be used in the shame can actually edit the past in that process as well. It's like the historian who, who basically writes a new history. The shaman can write a new history for the family, for example, a past that they had of witchcraft or of being, uh, of being uh, thrown out of a land in order to construct a, a better future for them. So it's, not, it's a temporal relationship here, but it's a temporal relationship which is very pragmatic. Like I'm going to construct a better future for this community. We will, be, we will regain our land, we will recover you know, our language. We will no longer be you know, in, in enslaved and so on. And so it's a really important also way of um, reconstructing the way that Mapuche think about themselves in the past as well. And, and, in order, and by doing so, they're actually, it's not just symbolic, they're actually creating a better future for them. Mm -hmm.